Hello, Larry Wexler here. Today, I am going to teach a very important lesson, especially now that we're on lockdown from the COVID-19 virus. The lesson today is how to properly load a dishwasher. If you have three kids like I do, this is a very important skill that the children need to learn. So bear with me and I'll show you the proper technique for loading a dishwasher. Of course, the instructions in this video will depend on your specific dishwasher. Dishwashers vary tremendously. Today we will use a Bosch dishwasher, but I think the lessons contained in this video are applicable to just about any dishwasher. Here's the dishwasher that we have. It is a Bosch dishwasher. It does a very good job. It has buttons to set the different settings, as well as a button that can delay the onset of the wash. And if I open this up right here, you will see that inside the dishwasher, it has two racks. It has a top rack where you can put really just about anything that can fit. And then it has a bottom rack that also contains a silverware container. So the first thing we'll do today is show how to properly load the top rack. Notice first that we have some glasses and coffee cups already in the top rack. But take a look here at a very common mistake. You can see that there is already a coffee cup here and there is another glass right here. And you can see that there are two prongs here. Too many people will put another glass on the other side of the prongs. What they should do to save room is actually put the glass over the prongs and now you can get much more uh, glasses and cups in here if you do that. So again, to illustrate, here is another coffee cup. Here are the prongs. You can put the cup over the prong instead of putting it on the other side, which just wastes room. Another common mistake when loading a dishwasher is putting cups in with the handle pointed the wrong way. Let me illustrate. Here's a coffee cup. I'm gonna put it in the rack, the top rack here. And sometimes people just put it in with the handle pointing straight out like this. You can see the handle right here. That's not a good thing to do because then you prevent anything from loading right on the other side of the cup here. The better thing to do is take the cup, rotate it so that the handle is pointing against the side of the rack. And then you can take another glass and then you can load it right on the other side of the cup. That saves room. And it also makes it easy to put another glass adjacent to the one you put into the top rack. Not a trip, a tip when loading the top rack. Um, take advantage of the configuration of the different prongs in the dishwasher. So for example, you can see here, here's a cup, a glass that was put right on top of these prongs. Probably not a good place to do that. Why? Because here we have some dirty dishes that need to get loaded. I'll take this plastic dish here and look in the same area where those two prongs were, I could load it just like that and it fits perfectly. I'll illustrate again, I'll take this other bowl and again, using the prong configuration, I can load that bowl right on top of the other one. It's not exactly on top, there's enough room to allow the hot water and steam to get in there to clean it but it's much more efficient to do that. You can even do things like take a, a, um, a Tupperware and fit it in those prongs. Um, so it just depends on the configuration of your dishwasher, but there usually will be a more efficient way to load things. Now let's concentrate on the lower rack. I'm gonna pull the lower rack out of our dishwasher here. And again, as I mentioned earlier, the, there typically is a container for silverware, which we will get to in a second. But one thing that is commonly missed when loading a dishwasher is it usually makes sense to put bowls with bowls and plates with plates. So here, for example, we have a typical bowl and look how nicely I can nest another bowl right behind it. That's much better, for example, than having a bowl and then putting a plate, and then if you try to put another bowl, 
it doesn't really fit. So again, it is better just to put bowls with bowls and plates with plates. Now we're gonna, we're gonna continue talking about loading the lower rack. And now I'm gonna focus on the silverware. And you can see that we already have a number of forks and knives and spoons in here. And notice that, for example, this spoon is placed so that the widest part of the spoon is faced up. Um, and the same thing can be said for, for the forks. Here's a fork. The widest part of the fork is facing up. Why is that important? Well, simply because if you took the spoon, for example, and put it so the wide part was down, and then if you took, let's say, a fork and did the same thing, so the wide part is down, if you tried to put too many things in this little compartment here with everything facing down, what's gonna happen is the, the largest parts of these utensils will get too close together, and that will inhibit the proper cleaning. So it's always best when you put the silver in to have the large parts of the silver facing up. That way they have more room up here and they'll get clean better. Continuing with loading the lower rack, uh, I'd like to point out another mistake that many people make, and that is when it comes to wooden utensils. For example, here I have a dirty knife. The dirty knife has a wood uh, handle on it. Um, too often, people without thinking will just load that wooden knife into the dishwasher. And of course, it'll get clean, it'll be washed, it'll look good, but the dishwasher can do damage to, to wood surfaces. If you wanna maintain the integrity of the wood surface and have it look good, my suggestion is clean these by hand. Don't put them in the dishwasher. One more tip for loading the dishwasher is be very careful when you're working with teacups. Uh, what I'm showing here is a teacup and I'd like to put it in the dishwasher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick it up. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna open up the top rack and I'm going to put this coffee cup or teacup into the dishwasher. However, what did I forget to do? Well, I forgot to do a very important thing. I left the tea bag in the teacup. Um, don't do that because that can come off, that can break while it's washing, and the container, the bag itself, can get stuck in the dishwasher. So make sure when you're loading teacups that you remove the tea bag first. And finally, perhaps the most important tip, um, now that we've loaded everything properly, the cups and the bowls in the right place on the top and lower rack, we could run this dishwasher. But of course, you know, if you just look, the dishwasher is nowhere near full. Try to make the cycle efficient by loading as many things as you can in the dishwasher before you run it. That doesn't mean overstuff it. It just means don't run it until you have the dishwasher close to being full. And finally, once the dishwasher is full and ready to run, don't forget that you have to put in the soap pod, or sometimes it's a liquid. But make sure you remember to put that in, close the compartment. Well, that didn't quite work, but you know what I mean and then run the dishwasher. It doesn't do a whole lot of good to run it when you don't have the proper detergent in there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to load a dishwasher properly. Believe me, teach your kids this and you'll have a happy life, even when you're under lockdown from the COVID-19 virus. Thanks a lot, talk to you later.